Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 4 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Um, last episode kind of ended abruptly, I'll probably, I went past the time limit by a few seconds. I'll probably have to cut out something, something randomly, but it shouldn't be too hard. Oh well, yep, and we ended off here. He's asking if, we, if we're gonna buy one of his maps, so let's see what, we, what he has. Clock Town for 5 rupees and Woodfall, whatever that is, for 40 rupees. I'm just gonna buy both of them, because maps are useful, you know. And don't worry, you don't have to, like, buy maps for every dungeon or anything. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu Limpa! These are the magic words of Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. Well, they don't really do anything. What the fuck? No, get back down here. You're not, you're not, you're not, I'm not done with you. What? I'm not done with you, man. Come on, you're gonna sell me that map of Woodfall. Even though I don't really have a use for it at this point. Because I don't know what Woodfall is. Alright, I'm just gonna skip all your text or whatever, even though it is slightly different. And Woodfall. You don't have to buy this map right now. Actually, you don't have to buy any of these maps ever. But, they're useful. What can I say? Alright. So. Uh, now that we're done with that, before we move on to do what is we have to do with the Moon's Tier, which I'm actually gonna equip that right now, just for the hell of it. Um, we're gonna go back to this Deku Scrub minigame over here. And it actually gets a lot harder on the second day. Like, I don't know, I think the second day is the hardest of all. I think the third day is actually slightly easier, but that's just my opinion. But you will see exactly why this can be a bitch. Or maybe not, maybe I'll get lucky. But you can see, like, instead of the platforms moving up and down in one spot this time, they actually just move around in circles, or squares rather, like this. So, um, it can be rather annoying to land on them, since they're not always in the same spot. Alright. Try it. Try it in a new record again today, young Argon. One game is ten rupees. Sure. All right. And then use this day you flower and have fun. Yep. And basically the same explanation as last time. Yep. Time is still a minute fifteen. Sweet. All right. So we're gonna wait for one of these platforms to come around, and I'll show you kind of good timing I figured out. All right. We're gonna shoot up right about now, actually. Right, and I think I can land this. Yes, awesome. It the the hardest part for me about this day is actually er, about this section of the mini game is actually just getting on for the first platform. The rest is actually quite a bit easier. Um, I can just I like to work like towards the middle the first bit at the first part and then just work out from the middle. All right, shoot up here. Don't move at all. Wait for that platform to move to you and then drop. That's that's easiest for me personally. Alright, shoot up here. Um, am I really gonna get lucky? Please let me get lucky. Oh, I almost fell there. God. Here. Oh. Damn it. I have to wait and go around. Alright, I'm gonna shoot out here. Come on, come on. Just one more. One more rupee. Yes! I got lucky! Oh my god. I am all Why am I so lucky at mini games and Zelda games? 49 minutes and 13. No, 49 seconds, 53 milliseconds. Amazing. It's a new record. Take this. And he gives us another amethyst rupee. So, yeah, it's a good way to grind rupees for the first two days. But on the third day, it's when you really get the, like, the real prize that we've been working towards. I'm sure you can probably guess what that is. I'm still not going to spoil it, though. Just because that's not how I roll. Alright. Um, now that we're done with that, I think we're just going to... Oh, by the way, um, something I should note, it's uh, it's always ra it's raining on the second day, so, yeah, that's cool. Just a nice little atmospheric effect that they added, I guess. Ah! A fly landed on me, sorry if that made a big noise on my microphone, just kind of freaked out and had to blow it off, but hopefully it wasn't too bad. Alright, so with this moon tier, moon's tier, rather, I um, you're actually going to want to come, wait, hey, what's this? Hello, what are you doing, lady? Come on, I want to talk to you. What you. Where are you going? Why are you going back here? Hmm. I don't know, I'm just kind of feeling in the mood to follow her. Wait, what, where'd she go? She disappeared. Well, that was odd. What, oh, hello. Yes. Um. Why am I doing this anyways? I don't know. She's, she's part of a side quest, a very long and tedious side quest later on. Uh, let's talk to her, see what she says. Hello, Mr. Scrub. How about this rain? These scrubs feel sad on rainy days, too. 
But Deku Scrubs are supposed to like rain. At least this one has that reason. At least one of us has a reason to be happy. Aww. Maybe we can help her out someday. She seems really sad. You know, just like the moon. And a single tear rolls down her cheek. Alright. Back to the matter at hand. Take this moon tear. Oh, wait. Brammer, don't be standing around looking at your feet all day. <laughs> what the fuck? What's what's going on up there? Who cares? Ah, uh, yeah, so take this moon steer like I've been trying to say and bring it to this guy. Well, first talk to him. I've already sold out of my wares and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return her to in, in my village. I heard that a stone called the moon steer shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Take your flower included. Alright. And we're going to press the button that we've assigned it to. Here we go. Ah, that stone. You must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Take your flower included. Yes. And we get the land title deed. Sweetness. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't said... Whoa. 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 Never saw that happen before. I guess we're the camera's st stuck behind a pillar or something. Whatever. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or star strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title, the title deed of this spot should be in high demand among Deku Scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Too true. But I don't think we're going to sell it. And basically, this is all you have to do for now. This We've basically completed what we were set out to do on the first three days, because there's nothing much more you can do to help progress the plot other than this. Now we just have to wait for the night of carnival, when the door will open and we can go up to the clock tower. And in case, since it hasn't been explicitly pointed out, oh wait, 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 heart piece? Was that? Yes, first heart piece of the game. Awesome. Wait. The door to the... Yep. So it opens at midnight on the eve of the carnival. And the carnival is on the third day, so we have to wait until midnight of the third day. What can we do until then, you ask? Um, well, you could just go dance with the scarecrow and fast forward time. But I th I'd like to do something else. Well, in including that mini game that I still have to do the third day of. I think I'm going to grind for some rupees just while the time is. Um, I'm going to do it off screen, of course, but I will show you the method I use for grinding rupees. Alright, first of all, you want to head up to the north clock down, and you see this big patch of grass over here, and you want to just spin through it. The grass will start, like, running away somehow, who knows, who knows how this stuff works. Um, but yeah, you can get quite a few rupees from that. Um, if you get, if you hit all of them, which is very easily done, actually, I just didn't do it there, you can get nine rupees total in each pass. And then you just go, uh, you can go to either west, I mean east clock town or south clock town. I think south clock town's entrance is closer, closer to the patch of grass, but it doesn't really matter. And just come back and spin again. Spinorama. And basically that's it, and your current wallet can only hold 99 rupees. And once you've gotten to that point, once you've gotten up to 99 rupees, then go deposit them, or... Yeah, go deposit them with that. Sell stuff with Sea Guy. So I'm gonna off screen some rupee grinding for now until like I reach a certain time that I wanna cut in and do start doing stuff. Oh wait, night of the second day, 36 hours remain. Half of our time is up. And these girls are here dancing again. Uh so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut now, because you don't wanna watch me rupee grind, or maybe do. What the fuck? Wait, that's a cow. It's a cow with like a cat face or something. Who knows? Anyway, so, yep, I'm gonna off-screen that. I'll see you in a bit. Or in a second, rather, for you. Alright, guys, um, or everyone, uh, excluding girls, um, I'm over in East Clock Town now by this guy, and it is just about 1 o'clock, nearly 2 o'clock on the night of the second day, and, um, I realized that there's actually a piece of heart we can get, uh, now that we have the land title deed, and it is nighttime. Um, you can only do this on nighttime, past midnight on any day but basically yeah so shoot out of that flower and up here and we enter the stock pot in which is a place that we'll be coming to quite a few times throughout the game uh yeah 
And if you come in here, there's like this bathroom here, and some weird hand comes out. Let's talk to it. P -p -p paper, please. And you get our land title deed, which is obviously a paper. Yay. Yeah, he gives us an awesome thumbs up. Seal of approval. Oh, you saved me. Well, who are you? We have no idea. What the? This fell down here. I'll give it to you. Don't, don't you dare hand me what I think you are gonna hand me. Oh, okay, thank God. Ah, uh, yes, we got a piece of heart. We collected two total so far. Oh uh, yeah, I wonder how a piece of heart fell out of a toilet. Toilet, such a funny word. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's all I really needed to show now. Um, so be sure to get that piece of heart. And yeah, there's actually a lot more pieces of heart in this game than in Ocarina of Time. I believe there's 36 in Ocarina of Time and maybe 52 in this game, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that, I just think so. Alright. Um, so I'm gonna keep on grinding for some rupees. <laughs> I have 69 rupees just so I cut. Alright, see ya. Alright guys, it's just getting to the dawn of the third day now. Um, as you can see by the screen shrinking and... Dawn of the final day, not the third day. 24 hours remain. And I decided to cut in now just cause I did a little bit more rupee grinding, not much. I got to 90 rupees, um, I haven't actually deposited any since the last time you saw me deposit some. This is pretty much perfect timing for me, because when I go to deposit, um, you will see, let me see, uh, deposit rupees, yeah, How many? and he'll say, yes, this is Argon, and I've deposited 110 rupees, so when I deposit 90, it'll make an even 200, and he did say that once we deposit 200, he'll give us a little reward. What's this? You've already saved up 200 rupees. Well, little guy, here's a special gift. Take it, and... We get the adult's wallet. This is this is for adults, so it holds a total of it holds a lot of rupees. You can carry up to two hundred of them. Two hundred rupees. All right. And um, yeah. And now that is actually the third day. And by the way, if you listen closely, the music on third on the final day rather is actually a little bit faster than it is on the other days. Uh, just a moment, guys. I'm just a second. Alright guys, sorry about that. My mom interrupted me to bring me a Coke, actually, which is something I really needed after hurting my throat through that using through doing that stupid fairy voice, but Yep. Alright, I'm gonna take up fifty rupees to use to play the mini game. Um, in case I fail a lot. All of five tries. Awesome. Alright, yes, yeah, so where was my train of thought? I don't know. I think it was something about how the music is faster on the third day. It's pretty awesome. It's nice and suspenseful. Oh, and by the way, something, like, pretty much the main plot of this game, or part of the main plot of this game, I haven't shown it off yet. And, oh, god damn it! I forgot about the dog. But basically, if you look up at the top of the clock tower, you can see that the moon is actually getting closer and closer every day. And pretty much at the end of the final day, um, the moon is supposed to crash into the town. And we can't have that, now can we? No. Alright, um... So yeah, this is gonna, pretty much going to be our final act in this, in of the day, or of this record. No, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Whatever. Oh god, we only have like a minute left. Um, I don't think I can do this in a minute, so I'm gonna cut this episode a little, a little bit short here. Not too short. Um, it'll probably the next episode will probably be short, shorter though, maybe around 10 minutes or so, because I need to end this recording. But anyways, as you can see, this one's basically a mixture of the last two days. So yeah. Anyways, um, in the next episode, we'll do this. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.